Hello Lucas Tech fans, welcome back to another exciting show here today of the Lucas Tech Show with your Skinnerty Lucas. Now, hopefully you guys are ready for this week's topic today for technology. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying uh, your weekend or your week. By the time you're seeing it, it's probably going to be the week. So hopefully you guys had a good weekend and hopefully you guys are ready for another great uh, work week. Of course, we're here in the studio. Uh, very, very excited to be back and we had a lot of good responses for the first episode of the Lucas Tech Show. We talked about the HomePod. And now today we're talking about something kind of unique, something that I really want <laughs> uh, for my uh, my setup because it's really really cool. Now this thing here is ranging for about eight thousand dollars. Again, I repeat, eight thousand dollars for this uh, type of product. This is the LG Signature OLED TV W, and they're marking this thing out for eight thousand dollars. Of course. This is literally a wallpaper, hence the name TVW, W stands for wallpaper. Now, this is very, very unique. Uh, I talked about this sort of product on the uh, weekend, uh, weekend show with your host Kennedy Lucas a couple of weeks ago. I don't remember which number episode it was, but oh my God, this thing, they just, they, LG is just really popping. Okay, so we're seeing, you're showing this video, it's literally a wallpaper, of course, we had a whole bunch of YouTubers like, uh, I'll give you an example, Unbox Therapy did an unboxing and if they're somehow listening to today's show, congratulations to them on the 10 million subscribers they have right now. So we cannot wait to be Jack. But uh, this thing is really, really cool. Uh, please refer to them if you really want a more detailed video of what, you're, what you can see. But uh, this thing is literally a wallpaper. Again, it's $8,000. Uh, it is can curve up and it can curve down. This thing is has OLED features and a whole bunch of new specs. Now, I believe technology is the the, the thing uh, uh, for our future, and this is going to be like re revolutionary. Um, if you are <laughs> a, a, a businessman like me, you know it's not feasible to go get this kind of product. Um, I would never. If I was rich, yes, but if I I'm not rich, I would never make this kind of investment for this kind of product. Simply because it's $8,000, you can go out and get a T, uh, get a car with that kind of money. And yes, you can now get a TV with that kind of money. Um, it is really good for a home setup. Uh, again, it's, you know, it's so stunning, it's so simple. Pictures on the wall design allows the television to lay vertically flat onto your wall. Uh, it's not even like when you see it, you won't even know it's a TV until you turn it on. You're going to think it's just, oh, it's just art design for the house. But once you turn it on, people are going to be blown away and say, oh, snap, that's a TV. It, you know, uh, it seems that it, it, uh, it bends from the wallpaper and it disappears. So, you know, you can bend it to make it a curved TV like, and you can also make it flat to make it a flat tone type. If I ever were to have this product, Again, if LG somehow listens to this podcast and they want to sponsor me one of those, I would gladly take one of those. Um, I just, for my budget here in the, in the studio and the company and the media label, I would make that kind of investment. I just, I wouldn't. Uh, it's only possible with the unique, efficient technology of the LG OLED TV, beautiful on and off. Uh, it is a pristine for form of television that can be taken uh, to great advantage and the ultimate uh, to its part. So again, this thing is really cool. It's really swanky is what I want to say. Uh, you know, you have your intense colors to perfect blacks. So that means that when the screen goes black, it is black. You know, it's not like you, it's not black and you can see uh, your, so, so much of your reflection. You, once you turn it off or you have a black scenery, it is, the blues are blues and the blacks are blacks. And this is the perfect black, you know. Um, it's efficiency. Everyone, LG, they thought about it when they were making this product. They want to say, is it efficient? Will people, will the average consumer, would they buy this product? Now, some people would. I mean, is that, again, it's a lot of money for that kind of uh, technology. I personally, I just couldn't make that investment. But, you know, it, it does the trick. Uh, with the same picture quality as the uh, wallpaper TV, Every OLED in the 2007 lineup delivers the perfect blacks for colors to come alive, uh, come alive against um, the LG OLED pixels are what make it all possible. Each turning, uh, turning on and off individual for truly unifying an infinity contrast. Again, 
fantastic. Um, the TV also supports the Adobe Vision and Adobe Atmos. A lot of people, uh, a lot of YouTubers out here, or they have Adobe Atmos uh, speakers or in converted into their TV. It's very, very smart that they have that because you know they are marking that quality style as it being, um, you know, if, if, if there's a, a shard of glass, you know, falling to the ground, it will feel like you're there. You know, it will feel like you're really really there and adobe vision and adobe atmos that the adobe company they're going to take over many cinemas coming very soon with the adobe atmos and adobe vision because you know it, trying to find a good movie experience they're going to have it um i recently just saw black panther which i'm going to do a podcast over that uh if they were to have you know adobe vision or adobe atmos at the theater i went to then that would have been fantastic and it would have been well worth the money uh, to go see a movie with this kind of thing because uh, it, it you know it's, it's sound quality it's quality that's what these companies are going for quality in their content quality in their products and they really want to sell out the most um, the uh, the wallpaper TV is the ultimate expression of the cinema quality experience in the home uh, premium content archives uh, achieves I'm sorry achieves the pinnacle of the picture quality thanks to active hdr again hdr is that kind of thing where uh perfect sound i know i don't know if xbox s has it but i know xbox one x the newest project scorpio they have the hdr and again those things are really good uh for for what it is i'm gonna check my xbox because i don't know if i have hdr but it probably does have a hdr uh skin uh hdr uh thing uh Thing that's attached to TV. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what is it. What's it called? The plug-in, I guess. Um, big screens uh, surround the living room. Oh, um, yes. Yeah. So straight from state-of-the-art theaters to the home, Adobe Atmos creates that sound that can appear to come from anywhere. Crickets around. See stuff like that. You just you're paying attention to details because when it's stuff like that, uh, it's really really good for the expression. It's really really good for what they're seeing. Um, a villain laughing behind you, you're gonna feel like it's the, the villain's right behind you. Or like I mentioned earlier, that shard of glass cracking from the door onto the floor, you're gonna feel like you're there. And you're gonna wanna like cringe a little bit because you're gonna think, oh, there's glass falling near me, but really it's on your screen. Again, quality efficiency is what they're going for. Um, really, really happy about that. I really, really do am happy about it. This thing is supporting the HDR content for the wallpaper very very gorgeous picture no matter how you look at it you know from the front from the front of it to the side of it every seat of the tv room or living room you get a clear vibrant picture without wash it washed out tones now that's one thing that tv tv companies are trying to work on because you know washed out uh tones into your television set uh they kind of when you have your tv for a while then the pixel kind of dies on you and then you have to go out and get a whole nother new TV. It's a unique uh, design of the LG um, L OLED TV assures that any views is a great way, not just the ones in the center. So if you're in the center, you have, let's say, your wife and kid off to the side, they're going to be able to enjoy the show or movie they're watching, uh, you know, with the same amount. One thing I do like about this, and not only that... Um, LG does this, but I actually have two Vizio TVs in my place, and one of them, uh, one of them I use for like a gaming uh, theater area. So it's not really much of a, um, it's not really much of a smart TV. It's just plug and play, which that's for for what I want it for gaming. It's, that's all that matters. But in my other TV, it's supported smart TVs, and really, smart TVs is the way to go. Not many people um, have them before, but I rest assure you guys, Lucas Nation fans, smart TVs, you don't have to get the biggest and the baddest and the badass looking smart TVs unless you want to invest that money. But now smart TVs nowadays are very, very cheap to and very, very affordable. Um, I had got my TV again for Vizio. I personally, I love LG, but I love Vizio. And I'm a big supporter of Vizio because I really do like their design, their TVs. And in my place, I have Vizio. And smart it's a smart TV, so I'm able to hook up my Hulu, uh, Netflix, and other stuff like that. So uh, it's really, really good and efficient to have people to have 
uh, smart TVs nowadays because that's just the way to go. And that's going to be the new thing. And it kind of going to drive out cable. I do have cable at my place too, but it's going to dry out cable once in a while because, you know, cable is your standard cable. But when you have a smart TV, TV that can connect to all of the uh, TV streaming apps on your smart TV, and it's going to be the way to go for sure. Uh, again, this TV here is breathtaking. Again, you scale it, dial it, clause is 65 inches. Uh, the resolution is 3,840 times 200, uh, 2,160. Again, it's OLED display. Uh, you get a 4.2 channel sp uh, speaker system. Uh, you get the web OS uh, 3.5 as your web operating system for your smart uh, functions to access the internet and access your, you know, uh, you have four of your HDMI slots for this TV. Again, the LG Signature, it, it's fantastic. And picture quality, all of it is a yes. HDR effects, perfect black, sediment colors, everything is a yes for this too. Um, they actually support uh, screen share too, so that's one thing that's very exciting for most people. If you would just want to dial into the specs here a little bit. Uh, again, it's just fantastic, Adobe Atmos. Um, with this TV though, you do have a warranty, which I'm glad that they do have a warranty because it, this, this thing is $8,000. Again, comment below, would you invest if you are an average middle class or a little bit higher or middle class worker, would you just go out and afford this thing or would you wait until you make bank to get this kind of uh, product? For me, if I had $8,000, I wouldn't blow it on the TV. At most, I would blow it on a car, a new car, is what I would do for $8,000. Um, but then again, if you got it in the bank and you got it like that and you balling, go out and get this TV. I think in the near, near future, maybe 2022, oh, that's a long way from now, um, they might make these TVs cheap, like $300, and then they might have the next best thing. Now, when it hits 2022, um, and this the wallpaper TV is $300. Yes, I would go out and get this TV for $300, but I wouldn't get it for $8,000 because that's, that's crazy. You know, that's, it's really crazy, but people are getting this out. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for this week. Again, uh, for more tech shows and more tech uh, technology to talk about here today, this has been the Lucas Tech Show with your host, Kennedy Lucas. I'm Kennedy Lucas, logging out.